spring treating you so far? Just kind of getting started, obviously, if not slowed down, getting some work in. Um, just what's been up? Uh, a lot of work. Been, no, no days off, always in the lab. It's been cool. You're a guy that started to get some early playing time over here and developed into I mean, an all-state caliber player this past year and, and now get ready for your senior year. Just when you look at your process and progress overall through your high school career, what have been some areas you've been most proud of? Where do you feel like you are right now as a player? Maybe what are some focuses for this offseason continuing to develop? Uh, I got more spiritual. and uh, I, got, I had people, great dudes in front of me, like Sage Ryan, Jordan, Ant. Rylan had great people, so I just kept doing what they did. That's a that lineage, and you talk, I mean, specifically about just some of the DBs that have come through in the last few years. What are those relationships like? And, and from a football standpoint, how much can you pick up? You all get great coaching over here from the, the, the staff, but just watching a guy like Sage, hearing a guy like Sage, or Jordan or Brylan, um, having a guy like Jawan that you can work with in the off season. How do those relationships help, and, and what are the, the ways and things that you can, can pick up from them? It's like uh, we're a family, like, that's like my big brothers. They are, they are all so humble, so it's like it's hard not to just not be humble and do what they do. That's it. Were there times, whether it's a, a young guy and you're watching Sage do some things, or now watching some of the things Juwan does, and and then they kind of like shrug it off and, and don't take a lot of attention and stay so humble that from the outside it's kind of surprising. It's like, dude, that you just made like a ridiculous play um what is that like to watch some of that and see the way they have carried themselves through some of it uh watching them mature since freshman year eighth grade year to now it's so different like only the inside people know how much mature like mature they got just telling coach some of the the things that stand out about you is being so technically sound at at your position at your age Take me through kind of a, a work day or work week for you as you're as you're working on your craft. What does that look like? What are some of the things that you're out here with your LCA coaches or with with Coach Ken or anybody um, you know on a, on a given week? Usually we uh, we got practice every day. So after practice, we a couple of guys. Not everybody come. We put in work every day. And just the little thing, like when you whatever you put in, you go get out. You reap what you sow. So. Just, we, we do everything, all the drills at camp, so when we go to camp, we know what to do. You, I'm sure, have a, you know, a, a busy spring and summer ahead with both 7-on-7 seven and, seven and camp plans. You're starting to hear from some schools already. Who have been some of the schools that you've heard from most or most consistently? Um, what have been some of the things that, that they've told you that has caught their attention? Um, UL, Tulane, and Southern Miss the most. Cause, um, they said they're ready to see me at camp, so I'm getting bigger, I'm gaining weight. So it's about to be a good camp season. What are you at right now, latest height and weight? 186 foot, 511, six foot, that's it. And I know coaches said you're you're running pretty stride for stride with Jawan. How, how's the speed side of things going, speed work, times if you got them, anything like that? I didn't got the times, but I'm running stride for stride with everybody, so this is going to be a good year. That's it. That level of competition on a day-to-day -day basis, we talk about the relationships and all this and that, but when you can run and, and run alongside Juwan and y'all can push each other, uh, how much does that help y'all both exceed and, and excel and uh, kind of become the best versions of yourself you can? It helps us a lot because even in like 40 yards, 10 yards, we want to win. Nobody want to lose because right when the 10 yards over, you can look at each other. If you lost, you know you lost. You won, you know you won. And it could be a lot of trash talking most likely between them. It's funny because there is that competitiveness, and you mentioned trash talk, but at the same time, y'all are so tight knit and everybody's oh, yeah. so close that that relationship it, it really is very brotherly, I guess. To, to, oh yeah. yeah, yes sir. Um, do you have specific schools that you know you're trying to get to, whether it be for visits or camps yet for the spring and, and the summer? I'm guessing the three that you mentioned. Yeah, uh, for sure. Any other stops along the way? Uh, Florida State. I want to go to Florida State. Baylor, uh, Tennessee, that's one of my tops.